Jackson. Oh, goodness. Action it is, yes. Charlie Chaplin on the stage on the film set. He must have heard this many times. This is a wonderful sculpture of that famous comedian. But also, if you turn it to 90 degrees, you also see the camera that was taking pictures. A typical Hollywood studio camera of the 1930s, in between the talkies and the silent film era. So this way it's our Charlie, Charlie Chaplin. Turn it from 90 degrees and we see a completely different figure, but it's very related to it because it's the camera that's taking the pictures of his wonderful comic films. And all these little sculptures here, which I've got on the table, are what I call dual art. They show two different themes, two different pictures, very often like this one, related. There's another one here which is related, I think. This one is a charming one of a denizen of the deep, a seahorse. Very gainly looking creature. I always love these. But if I turn it through 90 degrees, we're going to see an angelfish over coral. Coral at the bottom and the angelfish swimming around at the top, both in warm tropical seas. Aren't they beautiful? And another one with related themes would be a ballerina on the swan, Swan Lake perhaps. And we turn it through 90 degrees and we have, well, it's, it's a musical, isn't it? So they've got a treble clef there. That's nice, a nice theme to put into it. Ballerina. You notice halfway is almost meaningless. You can't see anything halfway. It has to be precisely that with a silhouette, and then precisely that. That's the middle of ballerina, and that's the trouble we left. I've got a very strange one here, which I think must have come from. Well, the artist here was Kuhn from Mexico, so this is possibly part of the Mexican theme, isn't it? Skeletons. The day of death, they do and things there. So that's a skeleton, very clearly. But this is a bit strange. It's actually, that's afterlife, and this is before life. When I looked at it very carefully, I realised it's depicting a fetus, uh, a baby in the womb before it's born. So before life, and then afterlife. Very strange idea. One feature about these is they are quite delicate in the wood. So one I've had for many years, which has broken the base, but I can repair it, but I'll just show it without it being repaired, is this one here. A very fine one there of an eagle with its wings. Turn it through 90 degrees, and we're going to get a stag with a wonderful set of horns. Isn't that superb? An eagle and a stag, and I've got to get it back on its base. So these all came, I think, a set of 13 of them all together came from a guy called Kun in Mexico back in the mid 90s. Much more recently, and much closer to home, I found some miniature ones, these three here, the last three. And two of them came from the same artist, I think it was in Chelmsford in Suffolk in England. Here's the first one. It shows a treble clef, a musical one, we've already seen that. And then turn it through 90 degrees, and it's a harp, something that my niece plays, a professional harpist. A treble clef and a harp. So those are related, I think they're very nice. And another pair of related ones is this one here, which is an eagle flying. Again, we've seen another version of that, but now <laughs> this way it shows US of A, or this one around here is a bit, a bit clearer, I think. United States of America, USA, in a, in a line. So those came from an artisan in East Anglia. And the last one came from, far a magician, came from America, an artist, I love this one here, it's a beautiful concept. This way it shows a magician in his full regalia with, with, with tail, tail coat, pulling a rabbit out of the hat. That's what magicians always do. So he said to himself, what's the vice versa? It's the complete opposite of that. Wow, well, it's a rabbit putting a magician <laughs> out of a hat. What a lovely idea. So these are highly sought after, much collectible. I think people are still making them, but they are quite pricey because they're very labour intensive, but they are beautiful objects. I'm very, very fond of them. They're a bit delicate, but aren't they fun to look at? Dual art.